Hi, I'm Stuart from SOB Leadworks. Welcome to the next job. Let's go and have a look, see what it's all about. Okay, so here we are. We walk down this corner here, come up this ladder. Let's see what we got. Okay. So we've got these dormers to finish off. There's one here. I can see another one over there as well. Um, my mate is actually started doing this job but he's he's gone away on holiday for a few days so i've just been called in just to keep things going keep things moving along um right so as you can see he's already put the lead apron in although it does look like it needs another coat of oil so i should sort that out cover flashings up the sides and then we've got vented cheeks and he's already got his copper in place as well for those and then we'll have lead jams. There's like a lead head through there as well. Just got his copper fixed on, ready for that as well. Same the other side. All the copper nailed up, ready for that. So I think first we're going to do just sweep. We've got a nice little scaffold in front of this, actually, is quite nice. We'll just get that all sweeped off, nice and tidy. Um, sweeped off or swept off <laughs> both <laughs> as long as we get the job done i suppose um and then uh, we get some building paper on the sides of these cheeks get a roll of lead up here start taking some measurements and getting some lead cheeks knocked up okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to do one side at a time so i've just got the building paper on this side now and i've just worked out where all the welts are going to go we've got 600 wire bed for this in code four um so i've just measured where my welts are going to go. So measuring from the front now, we know we've got 600 wide, so just allow 25 mil past that edge there. Come back your 600, put a little mark, and then come back 25 and 50, and that'll tell you where your welt is going to be with that 600. We'll do interlocking welts. So we've got one welt coming down there. Then measure, do the same process again, 600 back. That's so like an inch back from, from that point there. It's hard to see because the tape measure's flicking out. Um, yeah, so it's like inch back from that point there for your fold for your welt. Come back again, 600. Measure back 25 and 50. Mark where that one is. What I'm going to do basically now is measure from the top down to, to that batten there at that corner, it's coming down that line there and then the same coming down that line there and that'll give me my angle then I just need to allow an extra 25mm to turn around for the welt um, and that'll give me my cheek. Um, once I've done this side I'll use it all as a template for the other side so i'll get a roll of lead up here now i think and i'm going to carry up onto the scaffold make it a bit easier um it's like getting some base cut up okay so that's that one all all knocked up now um so yeah so, so, so i've just done these the hook welts it makes it a lot easier so now that's knocked up let's go sit it in place and see what it's like okay so that's that cheek all fitted now didn't go in too badly but these these first ones are always a bit awkward the biggest ones obviously as it goes back it'll get get smaller and get lighter because the cheeks are not actually resting on the roof it's quite difficult to hold them up in place into the copper that's up there as well and nail it at the same time but um what i tend to do because these are set about 25 mil off the roof you can just get a bit of batten and you just prise it in there and then it just makes it a lot easier so that's all that fixed we've got all the copper in place as well running up the jam there and we've got some hidden copper inside the well as well and then it's double head nailed one at 25 and one at 50 through the top there left it slightly off to make it a little bit easier because not only that we've got a head flashing going through there as well to cover all the fixings and then later on there will be a timber molding that's going to go on that side as well and around the front so what we do now we just repeat the process and get the next two cheeks on 
okay that's that second panel in there now that definitely went easier than the first i think it is due to the fact you know it's a smaller it's a smaller panel you haven't got all that weight bearing down on you all the time um plus you, you can hook it once you've hooked that in there it kind of like steadies it up a little bit as well so now that one's in and that's what i mean i just put a bit of batten underneath there just to keep it in place but while while i nail it so i'm just going to run some some nails on there now and then we'll get some copper in that well and start knocking up the last panel okay so that's that last panel knocked up as well now um what i always do is i always oil the back of this as well especially in the wells down there as well because otherwise if you don't do it if you just oil it on the front edge what you will get is you'll get water that runs down these welts and if you haven't put got oil in there you can see it you can see i've put it in there look if you haven't oiled that then it'll just all streak out from the welts come onto there and just run down it just looks awful so i always make sure i oil the back of all the panels as well so now that's knocked up let's get that last one sat in and fixed Okay, so that was that last panel in and fixed up now. So what I'm gonna do now is start setting in these welts. What I'm gonna do, which I've already done there, I've just dressed that flat a little bit. I'm just gonna get a setting in stick. I'm just gonna run that down there, set that welt in. So we do this one, we do that one, and then we can have a look at getting some head flushing in place. Okay, so I'm just in the process now of putting this head flashing through. So I've marked where, my 150 is going to come what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to nail a clip on the center of each panel and then we can get that head flashing nailed in place and we can weld it into that cheek as well so i've just got my piece of lead down there now which i've just cut i can oil that on both sides and then get that fixed in place okay so that's all that head flashing fixed in place now just put some clips on there, cut them to 50 mil. Just don't bend them all the way up because if you if you bend it right up tight, when that lead expands and contracts, it ends up just pushing the clip out and, and effectively doing nothing. So just leave sort of like a five mil expansion gap on those. I've just given that side a coat of oil as well. Obviously set those welts in too. So now that side's all complete. What I'm gonna do now, just move the lad around to the other side literally just copy the process did the whole thing again i won't bother filming that because it's just going to be exactly what we've just done so i'll get that other side in then i'll catch you again and we put the jams jams on and we do that front top soffit section as well okay so that's all the other side all in place now just need to give that a coat of oil but i think what i'll do is i'll I'll oil that right at the very end. Um, so now let's have a look at these jams. So we go down, cut some, cut some lead. We just want to make sure we're at least 150 mil past this point. But I probably will just take it right up to the top of that cheek anyway. Come down, right down to there. Then I'll just copy what's been done before on this job. Um, I think what they've done is they've sort of like given it a slight angle from that point down there something like that but we'll, I'll have a look what's been done before so I can get them all uniform so we go down cut some lead and we'll get both of these jams on okay so I'm just in the process now of doing these jams so I've got my piece of lead cut to size turn an inch on that and what I do is I dress that to a square quite loosely just put a square in there and dress it to that all the way through oil that on the underside and then what I do is I just Put it into that welt there make sure it's in all the way down double head nail it like we've done here i didn't take it all the way up to the top because it's not needed it's just a waste of lead just needed to be you know 150 mil higher than this point here because we've got a facial detail that's going to go on this um so yeah it didn't need to come right to the very top just wasting lead um so once i've got it fixed in place just mark through where it's going to turn into the window opening I've done the same on the bottom here it's come so I'm going to cut through there and then I've looked at what's been done before and I've copied that angle exactly the same as all the other dormers and what so what they've done is they've just measured 160 from that point back and they've just marked from there to there so we're going to cut that piece out and then we can dress that into the window opening and get some nails down there okay so that's both of these jams 
all dressed in to the window openings and, and fixed now. So now they're both on. Next thing to do is we've got a little soffit detail to go on and we've got a fascia, fascia detail to go on as well. I um, haven't dressed this welt round yet because this fascia detail is going to come round a welt into all of this as well. And then when we when we dress that last welt, it's going to pull this even tighter in as well, even though you know it's pretty good now. But when you dress that down as well, it'll help pull it pull it round. So that's the way I always do that. So we're going to get this fascia and soffit detail done, give it a coat of oil, and that'll be job done ready for the next stage, which will probably be in another video. Okay, so that's that soffit detail in. Now I'm just doing this fascia as well now. So I've just got this one all welted in. Just got to trim that little last bit off at the end there, that little corner off. So what I'm gonna do now is get this last side in. Just got to cut out the extra thickness of weld there, get that cut out. Otherwise you end up with like a big bulge in the weld. So we get that cut out, fold that last side round, dress that round, give that coat of oil, and that'll be job done. Okay, so that's that last jam, all wet of round now as well. Just giving that a coat of oil now. So that is job done. Just ready now for the for the carpenter to put their mouldings round to cover all those fixings, and that'll be ready for the next stage. So I hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SLB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel please subscribe, hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.